What's her status now? Initial diagnosis is acute non-processed schizophrenia of the excitable catatonic type with undifferentiated biochemical abnormalities. Etiology. Well, symptoms appear to be an adjustment to the It's quite a fascinoma. Are you sure you're up to this? This is the exact type of case I need to complete my atavism research. This is my dingling, bitch. You fuck with me again, you're gonna get an attitude adjustment. You understand? Why won't you talk to me? Why isn't she in restraints? I just took them off so I could bathe her. That was stupid. Ad sick patients are to be restrained at all times, nurse. Especially this one. Is anyone going to help me? Okay, uh, everything is okay. Her motor functions are most likely attenuated by her electrolyte imbalance. Jesus! Fuck it. I'll handle her. Are you kidding? Answer me! Her heart rate is less than 30. Holy shit! She should be showing signs of severe tachycardia and hypertension. Which is Are you gonna talk to me now? 
I am uh, Dr. Miller. Oh, fuck. I'm only done detoxing. Can I go home now? This isn't a uh, rehab facility. You are at uh, Mount Helicon Psychiatric Hospital. What? You're in a nut house, Drew. Jim, this is a, a mental institution. Do you know why you're here? No. You were uh, brought to us uh, six weeks ago in a severe catatonic stupor. Six weeks? Yes, uh, you were a uh, 5150 admit, and you were found in an abandoned warehouse with 9 DBs. Dead bodies? Wong Chow? Where's Ray? Um, the uh, other boyfriend. Um, the massive head trauma. Prince Edward County, USC, and completed phasic shock. But he's okay. Uh, he, uh, and, and Ronald just spent over 16 hours attention. Is he realizes. okay? He expired on the operating table. What? He's dead. Move. Let's, uh, let's put her on uh, five mils of uh, haloperidol and uh, two mils of benzodiazepine, and let's keep her on an IV drip. I don't want another one of those episodes like we had. She fucking bitch. She's hurting me. Okay, she needs to be restrained at all times. No shit. Hey, I think she's waking up. Oh, God. Will you be my friend? Mm -hmm. Get away from her! Give her some air! Oh, oh, that's me! Me. We're going down! Go get in the pill line, you BP whack job. <clears throat> Welcome to the Snickers bar. Packed with nuts. man. <laughs> Oh. That's not funny. That's not funny. Smoke. God, yes. I'm Heather. I know. The beast. Been here long? Almost two years. Shit. Forget it. Even if you could get out of the building, there's security cameras everywhere and an electric fence surrounding the perimeter. Who's that? Oh, that's Violet. Hardcore ASPD bitch. They keep her in a straitjacket, but she keeps popping her shoulders out and attacking everybody. That's why they keep her in lockdown. She doesn't play nice with other girls. Damn! Violet's the reason they brought the college boys in his orders. Jim's a sadistic motherfucker with little dick syndrome. Thinks he owns the place. Dumbass Gary does whatever Jim tells him to. And Scotty steals our meds. He's a guy to see if you want any extra perks, Valium, or Vicodin. It'll cost you a hand job.
God, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Dr. Miller likes to keep us doped up and passive. He's a resident pea shrink. Shitty clinician. I heard he was sitting here to work on his people skills. Too bad there aren't any people around here. bounced off a rib and nicked my spinal cord. I even fucked up my own suicide. Why? Life sucks. Give it to me. Hi, Gail. Did you lose your vibrator again? You know the rules. No sharp instruments, no plastic bags, no shoelaces, no pyro, and no fun. Look, I don't need any of your shit, Emma. Now, you don't want to cooperate? I'll be happy to do a booty check. As much as I'd know you'd enjoy having your fist in my ass, I think I'll pass. Stay out of my purse. I thought she was a patient. Jesus, ow. Hey, Dr. Miller, I think Gail needs her lithium. Aren't you supposed to be in group? I hate group. Dr. Buscelli is always staring at my tits. Uh, well, how do you expect to get better if you don't participate? I don't know. A 45? Later, beast. When can I get out of here? Do, uh, <clears throat> do you remember who I am? Yes. Now when can I get out of here? Do you know what year it is? Yes, I do. What is the difference between a tennis ball and a grapefruit? One of them will hurt more when I shove it up your ass. When can I leave? I'm, uh, I'm ordering a uh, thorough psych evaluation and a CT. Where's the phone? My parents will get me out of here. We need to determine whether your current condition is merely a transient situational disturbance or a react- There's nothing wrong with me. What just happened there? You experienced a repressive ab reaction, didn't you? What did you see? I didn't see anything. Gail? Let me out of here. Um, let's, uh, let's increase her Haldol to 10 mil and, uh, also, uh, give her 16 IU of vasopressin. Um, I will check in with you tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. Do you know how many rehabs I've bolted? You can't hold me here. No, that's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Lights out. Hey. Huh? Shut the door. <sighs> What's going on? 
here, you can hook me up. Yes, for sure. What's your uh, DOC? Crystal. No, 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 no. Pharmaceuticals only. We got benzos and morphine, pennies, OC, sex. <laughs> but you want something speedy, so. Um, you ever tried Dex? Is it good? Yeah, yeah. It's a really tight high, you know. <laughs> but you're not gonna sleep tonight. I don't wanna sleep. Well, right on. <laughs> right, so, you know, oh, shit! Where the fuck are you? Ah, all right. So, uh, you know the prize, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buddy Christ. All right, for me. Aha! Oh. <laughs> Viagra, dude. <laughs> uh, Scott? Scott? Uh. Yeah, gonna unstrap my hand. Right, right. Unstrap my hand. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Jesus, that shit really works. <sighs> What? What? I'm left-handed. Hey, you're doing fine. <laughs> I'm all cramping up. Nothing for two weeks. Then yesterday, when I come out, he says he works for Carver. He ain't even a real estate agent. He's a made guy. You know what I mean? 
a stone killer. I just don't think I can kill anyone. Isn't your honey always bitching you don't make enough money? Well, yeah, but... For ten grand? Are you fucking kidding me? I'd smoke my mom for that kind of change. Oh, so, anyways, this dude is one big fuck. Except he's got these braces on his teeth, right? So he sounds like this and shit. No fucking way. No bullshit. I knew if I laughed at him, he ripped my fucking throat out. So it's like biting my lip and shit. Why is he one or dead? Supposedly, bitch went animal and killed his whole fucking crew. I can't see how she could do that. She's so little. Insert the E wall. Whatever tolerance you had developed from your meth habit had receded in the two weeks you were comatose. So, uh, your metabolism couldn't handle the shock. You OD'd. At least didn't make it. You were very lucky you were near the orderly station when you crashed. They, they tried to kill me. Hallucinations are to be expected when you mix amphetamines with barbiturates and psychotropics. You just had a bad trip, Heather. Scared the washer, stanky ass. I know what you're doing. Help me! So many! Help me! Help me! Please! Help me, please help me. Uh, I don't need you. Shut the fuck up! 
What the fuck are you waiting for? Stay away from me. You got four minutes. What? Shower, you fucking retard. Do I have to get the fire rose? Fine. Come on, Jim. That was two. You want to try six? Hey. Screw it. I don't think so. You be careful in there. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> That's only for guys, dumbass. What's that? We, we can't hear you. Shit, man. We have to stop her. Don't you fucking dare. Something going on and called you right up. <laughs> Shit. How did this happen? Sorry, Gary, you I'm fucking sorry. moron. I, uh. He must have got the shower schedules mixed up. <laughs> Take them back to their rooms. No accident. As I explained, that was a scheduling conflict. They were trying to kill me. Heather, you are experiencing residual effects from your overdose. Why do you keep acting like I'm crazy? Don't you understand? Somebody has paid these guys to kill me. Get some sleep. Wait, you're just gonna leave me here? I have to get out of here. Let me out of here! Why don't you believe me? They're trying to kill me! They're all trying to kill me! We'll put you over here so you can see everyone. Won't that be nice? Circling the drain. 
I gotta get out of here. You know how to walk through walls? If I could call my parents, my father would sue the shit out of this place. There's a phone in Miller's office downstairs. Well, call the driver. This was supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm not done. Emma. You owe me one. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down, falling your shift then? Midnight. Why? I thought, uh, I thought, um, I thought maybe we could, uh, get a bite. Don't you have a girlfriend? <laughs> She's out of town. Maybe she called. So, uh, you'll think about it? Hey. did not enter a security authorization code before dialing and may be a patient. Mom, Mom, listen. The automated switchboard has alerted security personnel. Mom, I don't have much time. You have to get me out of here. Mom? Heather, this is your father. Oh, Dad. Thank God. I'm, I'm at the Mount Helican Psychiatric Hospital. You have to get me out of this place. You're lucky you're not in prison. What? Your mother and I thought this would be best for you. You need help. You? We've done all we could for you. We're done. What are you saying? We can't help you anymore, Heather. 
But they're trying to kill me. Please. Don't call here again. But Daddy. Daddy. I didn't ask for this. You killed them. Oh, fuck, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. Ah. Wait, you're making me do this. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck is Jim? Ah. Ah. I'm gonna have to do this.
This has become an untenable situation, Miller. I think we should consider bilateral ECT. I don't agree, Doctor. Neuroreceptor stimulus initiates these malevolent transformations. Cortical activity of the temporal lobe... Do you have evidence of this? No. <laughs> but what I'd like to do is get an electroencephalograph just to establish... Unless you have demonstrated some progress by the end of the week, we're going to need to try a more aggressive approach. I should call Marty Haber at Columbia. He specializes... I don't need a consult. I will be the one to make that determination, Doctor. Please, allow me to try a less invasive somatic therapy. In her condition, ECT might be fatal. Bring her to the lab. Okay, Heather, I'm going to be monitoring your vital signs and your brain activity, so I need to establish a baseline reading. What is your name? Fuck all. What day is it? Fuck off. Who is the President of the United States? Fuck off. Why did you kill Gary? Why did you kill Gary? He was trying to kill me. Why did you kill Gary? He was trying to kill me. Why would he try to kill you? I knew he was going to cheat on his girlfriend. Each time you fail to cooperate, the electrical charges will become more severe. Why did he try to kill you? Fuck you.
Wake up. Really fucked up, bitch. Yeah, you see, see, Gary was our, our friend. We were just gonna kill you for the money. Now we're gonna make you pay. You spun out skank. We're gonna fuck you, and kill you, and fuck your fucking corpse. After we've been meds, we're coming for you. You are so fucking dead. Time for evening meds. Stick it in her, you know? It's gonna be like, it's gonna hurt, you know? Like a motherfucker. Try 100 volts, Bob. Yes, Doctor. Ready, Doctor Vishalia. Do it. Okay.
You sick fuck. We're only trying to help you, Heather. We saw what they did to Emma. Electroconvulsive therapy is a legitimate treatment for major affective disorders. There's nothing wrong with her. Emma has been suffering from clinical depression since she was six years old. She's attempted suicide 11 times, eight since she's been here. You're just fucking with my mind. You're trying to make me think I'm crazy. Why would I do that? You're all working for the killers. There are no killers, Heather. You experienced an adjustment reaction as a result of a stressful situational event that threatened not only your life, but your self-identity. You're repressing memories that are too painful for your conscious mind to accept. Now, under normal clinical circumstances, I would use psychotherapy to progressively break through the ego defense mechanism, but considering the uh, severe preservation impulses you have, I've decided to try a more direct approach. This is from the night the authorities brought you here. I believe you are suffering from a rare psychophysiological disorder. Your psyche is unable to process the consequences of your experience. Thus, you revert to a primal state whenever you're threatened. And you perceive anyone who threatens you as a killer. This is from in front of the warehouse. You seriously injured a police officer. Now, when you experience one of these morphological predatory states, which can also be triggered by electrical impulses, your autonomic system, uh, heart rate, blood pressure, lung tension, actually decrease. Your sensory systems become more attuned and your strength and your stamina increase by 60%. called hunting craze. No one was trying to kill me, were they? No, Heather. I really am crazy. We really like to avoid using that word. Listen, I've asked for some specialists to come see you. Psychiatrists who've dealt with dissociative symptoms such as yours. I'm, um, I'm not, uh, experienced enough to handle this by myself. We're gonna take care of you. Good night. Specialists? Sure. Yeah, we're the specialists. 
Now don't worry, Heather. We're going to make everything right. I'm ready for surgery. <laughs> <laughs> You are a very hard girl to kill. This may not real. <laughs> this is not real. Yeah, you just keep telling yourself that. This is only going to hurt you until you die. <laughs> We wouldn't want you to bite your tongue off and suffocate. At least not yet. Well, <laughs> would you mind? Would you mind screaming into the microphone? Huh? Come on! Ah! Come on! Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. Subject is a Caucasian female, approximately 25 years old. Apparent cause of death to be determined. <laughs> Did you see that? I swear to God. Smoke coming out of her ears. Let's do it again. got away. Doc and Hayden are dead. Shit. Woo! <laughs> Bitch killed who now? <laughs> Thanks. I told you those guys were lit up. What do you want to do? No more fucking around. Quick and dirty. You find her, and you put a slug in her head. Got it? Let's move. <laughs> Here you go, OG. Give me a shank, yo. Come on. This here is good for you. 7.65 millimeter. Double action blowback. Harley in the kick at all. Fuck that. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Kids. Come on, babies. Time to go to work. Stay with the car. Yeah. Make sure no one gets out. Come on, man. Sure, sing braces, whatever you say. Friendly advice, kid. Don't ever let him hear you do that. This guy says shit about a retainer once, and he fucking knocked the fucker's teeth out with a brick. It's hotter than hell out here. That's why it's called the desert. Well, they better have an AC.
Chris, I'm going to be taking off a little early. My daughter's sick. Everyone gets faded. Everyone. Don't underestimate her. This is the bitch that ripped up Nikki's guts with her bare hands. We'll take the top floor. You cut the power. Chuck, check this one. Eddie, make sure no one gets out. Move. It's okay, it's okay. We, uh, we heard gunfire and we hid in here. We? Heather! Die, bitch. Jim! Uh.
Let's go. The killers are here. Heather, we're gonna find a phone and we're gonna call for the police. You can't save them. Give me your keys. No. Okay.
crazy motherfucker. There's still another one up here. I think that he came up the I stairs. I think you're right. Drop it, or I'll kill the crew. Go ahead, kill me. I don't care. <laughs> don't be a pussy. Kill me! Killer, a killer doesn't give a shit. Nice break then.
right. I don't give a shit.